in this video we're going to talk about earth engine image um boolean operations or conditional operations in the last video we talked about how to do maximetrical operations uh, but sometimes it's also um necessary to extract some um image or some area or pixels based on conditional statements so um first let's go to the website to download the notebook example so go to tutorials.gmap.org the link is also in the uh, description below once you're on the website click uh, image and uh, conditional operations upper right corner click the download uh, notebook icon and you can choose to download to a folder uh, on your computer it's safe once it's, um, it's downloaded then you can open an conda prompt just type conda activate ge and then type Jupyter Notebook. Hit enter. This will open a notebook on your browser. Then we can navigate to the directory, uh, documents. Then it's conditional operations. Close this one. So uh, we're going to go through the source code here one by one. And uh, so first, let's uh, just execute, uh, import the map, and also create the map. In this example here, we're going to use a uh, hybrid, uh, the uh, set imagery. Uh, for example, this that display the map just to show you the difference, right? So if you, uh, but you, if you don't use this one, by default, it's going to show you the Google Maps. So if you want the satellite, then you, you can use this one, the hybrid. So the hybrid means uh, you have the satellite imagery, but you also have the label. So this way you can see uh, the location where that one uh, is located and also then the name or the city or the country if you want zoom in you can zoom out next let's talk about here the source code so um, conditional operations are applied pixel by pixel and one of the example that you want to do this for example if you use the normalized difference let's say you um, uh, create a ndvi vegetation index and then you want to extract vegetation from uh, from on earth in engine image then you can apply a threshold. So um, if you're familiar with remote sensing, so NDVI is basically indication of a, a, rem uh, a vegetation. So if it is uh, greater than zero, it most likely is vegetation. And non-vegetation area will receive a, a pixel value of a negative. And so one thing that we can, if you want to accept vegetation, you want to do something greater than. But um, this example, we're going to extract so-called the um, bare area or it's get like an um, impervious uh, surface so if there's non vegetation so it's going to be less than zero but it's sometimes even something greater than zero might not always be vegetation so uh, that's why you want to use for example 0.2 LT means less than okay less than something so you maybe let's do the uh, do this one first just to show you what I mean okay so once you have the uh, uh, NDVI we can also just add the uh, NDVI to the map so add layer NDVI and then we, we don't need to visualize uh, the parameters you can just type for example NDVI shift enter or we also need to uh, display the map so you need to type map in order to display the map okay so it's here this is the, uh, the result of the of the image you can also turn this on and off right so if you see from this image um, bright color uh, you can also use the inspector to take a look at the values uh, 0.45 0.43 right so this is um, vegetation area so this is water you're going to get um, negative values and if we want to extract vegetation then we can use the threshold but before we do that, I also want to show the original image. So I can see, for example, map dot add layer, and then the image. Um, so we think here we can maybe use a not so how many band. Uh, so this will be uh, five four three. So I can maybe bands, and then this is just to show you uh, how we want to visualize the the layer. So B five, and then B four. Okay, B3, and we can say this is the lens set data, the original data. 
shift enter and in this way you can turn the lay uh the original data okay so now you will see this one uh it's a bit dark uh you can change the uh, minimum maximum or you can also add a gamma so uh color correction so g a m m a maybe change to 1.5 and let's take a look see if this better okay so turn this one yeah it looks slightly better so a uh, red color means a vegetation so it's going to be vegetation uh, area and this is the result of the normalized difference uh, water uh, vegetation index so in this way we can use the inspector now we can also inspect the values in here so this is from b1 all the way to b10 um, b9 and so the vegetation index used calculation of b4 and b5 in this example if we want to just extract vegetation then we want to extract vegetation area greater than let's say for example greater than 0.2 uh, this if this is something you want so we can maybe have another one we can say for example uh, area equal to something so because we are going to apply a conditional statements to the NDVI so we can just apply this one NDVI dot right so we want something greater than so greater than means this GT uh, you can type G and then T you want to show you in here you can also have GTE greater than and equal okay so we just simply want to use the GT and then you can pass in whatever uh, threshold you want so in this case we can maybe try 0.2 then this one becomes a binary image okay so it becomes a binary image and then we can add this one uh, map dot add layer um, visit area and we don't need to pass in parameters we just okay this is a very uh, area Hit enter and we can take a look as you can see now we have a bin uh, binary image right so black color and white color and if you if you want to inspect you can also inspect the value so this is one our uh, dark color here is uh, zero right how about this we just want one color we want the non vegetation area to be transparent you can also do that uh, very simple you can come here and then you can in here self mask basically if self mask then you use yourself to mask out something so any anything equal to zero you will mask out you become empty transparent anything is non uh, non zero you become one and then so we can take a look this one here Right, so now you will see we have the vegetation uh, extracted right so all the white color those represent uh, vegetation it might not be um, big enough so if you see some of the area might not non vegetation might still be uh, extracted so you can certainly increase the threshold so we can increase the threshold maybe to uh, 0.3 right so it might be slightly better so we can delete this one so now my slightly the area is going to decrease because we increase the uh, the threshold so by default it's going to use a uh, white color but if you want you can also pass in your color here we can use palette the e t t e and then we can change this one maybe to uh, green color shift enter and take a look at it again now you have to uh, green color so we can change this one and look at the original image right you can zoom in uh, if you want you can use the uh, opacity right to see right the vegetation right? anything red color is basically vegetation you can also turn off the length uh, uh, uh satellite data to see the base map right so this is what base map behind the scene right? so green color represent vegetation uh, pretty close it's not going to be perfect because this is not um, a real scientific uh, uh, study it's just to show you demonstrate how you can use a uh, uh, google's engines to do uh, conditional operations so something greater than something less than something greater or less than you can use those conditional statements to extract um, information okay so this is the simple one using vegetation let's go back to the uh, original example right so now if we want to extract the impervious uh, service uh, you can use multiple operations right so in the previous one we just use vegetation uh, greater than but 
in this case here we are going to use vegetation uh, index less than 0.2 so non vegetation area and also um ndwi so the normalized water index uh, b3 minus b5 uh, so water index less than zero that means it's non water so what we are say uh, doing in this example is that non water and non vegetation so think about that if it's non water and non vegetation what kind of a land cover uh, meet this criteria so uh, some of those they basically is uh, urban area right so urban area uh, you, you don't really um, for impervious service like building and others you don't have vegetation right and there's no water so this is how you can extract so-called the bare land and once you have this one uh, think about here you have the uh, n that means you have multiple conditions okay so that pixel needs to have uh, an NDVI values less than 0.2 and also NDWI values less than uh, 0 so uh, we can execute and we can take a look at uh, what it looks like okay. so earlier I think we need to turn, turn off the vegetation area so this is the bare area right so it's doing the opposite right so earlier we used the vegetation if you see these two are uh, complementary right so uh, this is how you can use multiple operations multiple conditions to extract the area that you want to so extract the information from a remote sensing uh, image okay so again uh, also look at this one the self mask uh, you can do the self mask in here at the end of this line or you can just uh, when you add the layer you, you, you add it here so either one is fine if you look at this uh, source code here uh, so earth engine actually is uh, once you get used to it it's very uh, straightforward so anything is on an earth engine object you can dot something and then continue to dot 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 basically you apply a chain of functions or operations to that object uh, just like this one less lane and then you can apply another operation and this is uh, another operator so you can continue okay we can do one more in here if you want so we can continue to uh, add more operations to the image okay so this is how you can extract uh, impervious uh, service area from the uh, remote sensing image and the next one here uh, you can do a, a few more operations so let me execute this one here first and let's take a look at the results right so here you see a hierarchy and this one we're using nighttime light data so nighttime light they basically um the uh set of data they uh, record the uh like uh nighttime light or the radiance of the uh, earth surface so if you have lights at night the most likely is urban area if, if it is complete dark then most likely it might be rural area or um known uh, uh urban area so if you see uh, from this one here we're using the nighttime light and we select the stable lights uh, band right and then we can display the image so the next one is that we want to define some thresholds to extract um la, uh, urban area and and maybe high density high density area median density or low density area so because the pixel value of the nighttime light ranges from 0 to uh, 64 and so if something greater than um, like uh, 30 it might be uh, urban area or uh, have a lot of light but if it's greater than uh, 55 there's even um, higher density and so in this way basically you have multiple um, uh, categories all right so you can say for example mega city and then um, uh, big city or small city small town so this is how you can extract the so-called uh, different hierarchies and then so this if it's something greater than uh, you get zero and one if this this one you also get zero and one and zero and one so if an, a pixel meet multiple criteria of this three it's going to get a pixel value of three and if it only meet the first one it's going to be one and then two and then three so in this way you see the hierarchy uh, this is exactly this one is doing okay so we can maybe use the inspector two you can click and you can take a look this one here right three if you click the dark area you get zero right if you use this blue, uh, blue area you're going to get one because this is only greater than 30 right so uh, 47 is greater than 30 but it's less than 55 and also less than 62 so it only meets uh, the first requirement that's why it's one 
for green area uh, the value here 61 right so it, it meets two uh, criteria so one at one equals two at this is zero right so it's either true or false if it's false is going to be zero so and the last one here 63 right 63 meets all requirement so greater than a 30 yes so if this yes it's it's one and yes one yes one so three add together you get three so this is how you can extract the hierarchy uh you can add more if you want if you need a more uh detailed hierarchy but uh this is a simple example to show you that uh you, you can do this one uh so horizon uh, night time light right so this is a gray scale image right from dark color to uh, slightly bright color and so this is the us uh, you might not see that very clearly but if you change that and then extract right now you see it's much better right so you can see this one here you have red color you have a uh, green color you have blue color you also have some uh, dark color um, so those are uh, known urban area or maybe uh, agriculture or forest if you want if you want to remove the um the dark color you can do that so you can at the end here you can just do self mask because this is basically a value of zero one and two and three so if you talk self mask it's going to remove the value of a uh, zero so we just talk self mask parenthesis shift enter and you can turn off the nighttime lights so now you will see that you only have those urban area it looks pretty nice uh, it can extract the urban area quite nicely uh, it's not going to be perfect because of the facial resolution is not um, a very uh, fine scale so it's going to be you see some uh, pixels in here and there but this is just a simple demonstration that you can do this kind of a uh, mathematical uh, uh, conditional statements or conditional operations on earth engine image it's just like you are doing using traditional uh, remote sensing software but for now uh, you don't need to download the data you don't need to rerun everything as you can see i just apply a new thing i just uh, click one everything just run instantly so you get the result instantly without having to worry about um, reopening the data and then we do uh, the computation on your local computer okay so this is how you can do uh, uh, conditional uh, st statements you can also try this one for example using the uh, expression this is more like a complicated similar to the mathematical operation we did uh, in the last video but uh, as you can see from this example here uh, very similar uh, okay b1 b2 b3 because the band is uh, the name it is uh, stabilized so if you b and then parentheses uh, single quotes they indicate if the b if the band uh, greater than uh, uh, 62 it's going to assign a value of a uh, 3 and then um, if not uh, this is just continue so if it is greater than 55 you assign a pixel value of a uh, 2 if it's greater than uh, 30 you assign a pixel value of a 1 and else you assign a value of 0 so it's the same as the previous one but it's just using a different way so in this one using the so-called uh, expression so you get the same result and this might look uh, a bit complicated so uh, if you can use this one it's easier to understand right greater than and then add and then greater than and then add so it's just a chain of options so you're doing a bunch of options apply one on top of the other okay so last example uh so in this one in addition to using the expression you can also use uh where so where means that you have an image and then where this is the first parameter is the condition if it meets the condition and then it's going to return to um so this is going to the what the value you want to return in this example we're going to show you in here what does this one mean it's basically a cloud image so let me move this one down a little bit right and show you the original data so this is the original lens image and so if you can see from this here it has some area has uh, um, um, uh, clouds so how about this if you have another image and you can remove the cloud area and then fill in the pixel value from another image right so 
this is the idea and we can use the so-called lens set algorithm simple uh, uh cloud score and then apply on the image then you can have a cloud band so uh, just to make to say in the other way you have an earth in, uh, image and earth engine has an algorithm to automatically calculate the cloud score so for every pixel and this is the output of the cloud score okay, look at this one here right and the cloud score is from zero to all the way to 100 so you can also use the inspector you can take a look at the value right cloud score uh it's clear it's going to be zero if you have very high this is 100 that means uh it's cloud area so you click you click right and this one here essentially is to extract the cloud band so uh, basically this one zero from 100 and then we are just going to tell us engine that okay so if the uh, original image if the cloud is greater than 10 uh, the score is greater than 10 i'm going to replace the pixel value with from another image so this is the replacement is another image of adjacent this right so you can see from here right 2013 0603 so june uh, uh 3 and then this is april 16 so uh, we want this image but uh, unfortunately it has some uh, cloud cover so if they for cloud cover pixels we want to replace the cloud pixels with values come from here and this is exactly this one is doing image stop where the cloud greater than 10 i replace with the pixel values come from here and so the final result looks like this one you can see right looks much better uh, you still see some artifacts in here and uh, that's fine you can but this is just a simple demo that uh, you can quickly do the pixel wise operation it is going to apply to the entire image any pixel that meets the requirement it will be replaced right, so you can compare for example the original one huge difference again you don't need to download anything you just write a few lines of code and you can get the result uh, pretty easily you can this one you can switch right just like magic okay so uh this uh all for this video about conditional operations or sometimes called relational operations or boolean operations uh they are all i mean the same thing so you can do um yes uh, extract pixel area based on conditional statements two or four force and then you can use that as a mask to do additional uh, computation okay that's all for this video i hope to see you in the next one take care bye bye